Let us welcome in in studio. I do believe he is here. New York's own, the man they call Hurricane, the man who has been listening to this program for quite some time. I see he likes to like my tweets, retweet them, always very supportive. Had a chance to talk to him on Long Island. I do believe we are being joined right now in studio by the one and only Hurricane Shane Burgos. How about this? This is exciting. This is very exciting. I'm like nervous, man. <laughs> Shane, awesome. how are you? Good, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. It's great to have you here. It's great to be here. This is pretty wild. Yeah, what'd it's you real. think? This is awesome. This whole thing is really weird. I was in the back watching on TV, like, I'm gonna be on the show. It's yeah. Watch this every week. Especially when I'm, yeah. Especially yeah. when I'm training, because it's like a four hour show, so I don't have that much time in the day. But know, on yeah. my way to training, it's 45 minutes. So I watch it on the way to training, then on the way back. Are, are, are we talking live or are we talking after the On back? Monday, I watch it live. Wow. And then the rest of it, I watch Tuesday, Wednesday. I appreciate that. And, and you that, enjoy it. Exactly. And I'm in beat on Thursdays too. And MMA beat. Yep. You even recognize Danny Segura. Yeah. New York Rick, all the New York Rick. <laughs> yep. That's incredible. It's well, crazy. I appreciate that. Thank yeah, you no, very much. No um, problem. Man. It, it caught my attention when we spoke on Long Island because you were like, ah, oh. when I was in school, you were saying that you could tell, like, you know, someone said to you, UFC 74. And yeah, exactly. Know, right? We just mentioned that one on the way here. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was uh, that Zaga versus Randy Couture. Damn. Yeah, we were just on the, on the, on the way here. Uh, my friends in the back, they were like, he's going to test you, man. You got to name some, name some UFC right. events. What's your, what's your time frame? Like when? It was like UFC 66 all the way up to like, I think it was 120 something when Akiyama fought at Bisping. Yeah, yeah, but 120. Now, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Exactly. But then I, I lost it. I'm not as good as you. What happened? Me. I think I sparred too much, man. Honestly. For real? <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just went. I was, cause I was, I was bad in high school, so I was sure. bored. I would just write down main events every like every month, just to see if I still had it. Like UFC 66, all the way up to 120. You know what's so weird about that? For me, it was UFC 66 too. Yeah, that was that was the first one I ever ordered. So for real? Yeah, my really? parents let me order. I was 15 years old, I think. Yeah, four, maybe 14 years old. Okay. Yeah, it was the first one I ever ordered. That was uh, Chocolate Ale versus um, Tito Ortiz too. Yeah, December. Tiago Alves was on the card against Tony D'Souza, Keith Jardine, and, and Forrest Griffin. Forrest got emotional and yeah, left after that losing. That was crazy. That, that, everybody I picked in that card, I was, I was a noob really. I was like, okay. a new fan, but everybody I wanted to win on that card won. And after that, I was like, Dad, we have to order every single pay per view now on. Really? It was awesome, yeah. So you were, um, from what I understand, you really caught on to MMA because of Tough Two. Well, the, I watched the UFC Unleashed. It just happened to be on TV. For, okay, on the Spike channels. or something? Yeah, exactly. And then yeah. right after that, it said uh, it was a commercial for uh, Tough 2. And I was like, I'm going to watch this. This looks pretty cool. I was a big fan of the Contender. Okay, the, contender, the, boxing, the boxing show. show. Yeah, yeah. So me and my parents used to watch that. Then this came out. I was like, this is pretty much the same thing. So, was, and, But I like it better because they showed the whole fight. The Contender only showed like highlights of the fight. That's right. That's it right. showed the whole entire thing. So, so you had yeah. no knowledge of mixed martial arts. You were not a fan. No interest in it prior to that. I didn't know about it. I knew about it, but I didn't really know. Like I... I I had the old old uh, P, uh, PS1 game. Yeah. I played it, but right. I didn't know what the hell it was. I thought it was WWE. I didn't really know what it was until right. I really saw it and sat down and watched it and instantly hooked. And, and and what about training? Like, did you grow up with martial arts? Not at all. No. Nothing? Not at all. What did you I, do I, as my, a kid? My, my, nothing. My dad, <laughs> well, I grew up in the Bronx, so there's yeah. not really that much sports to do in the Bronx. Okay. I moved up here when I was in sixth grade, but I did a karate class when I was younger. Like, all my cousins did karate, and I hated it. I was like, no, I'm never going back. Never, do, never doing it again. Moved up here. And in um, eighth grade, that's when I started watching Ultimate Fighter and all that. Then the next year, ninth grade, I got my friends onto it. And they're like, I found a gym. Uh, it's like 10 minutes away. They do kickboxing and jiu-jitsu. I was like, oh, let's, let's go. I was like, let's, let's try it out. So me and my two friends, did, we went and we did uh, the one-month trial. Mm-hmm. Went every six days a week, every single day for that one-month trial. Wow. I've been at the same gym ever since, Tiger Shulman's. Tiger Shulman's. Yep. It was next to your house. It was 15 minutes away. Wow. Yep. Any of those friends stick with it? Are they fighters no, as well? No, no. So they just fell off yeah, exactly. as time yeah. went on yeah, and exactly. you stuck with it. Yeah, I started as a student yeah. and I became the head instructor of that school. Wow. Yeah, so it's pretty uh, cool. How soon into that experience did you start to think like, this is something that I might want to do with my life? From the first class, the first, especially jiu-jitsu, which is weird. Everybody thinks I'm a striker, but yeah. I, I, lo- I fell in love with grappling from the first second I did, I did the class. So wow. as soon as I did that, I was like, mom, I love this. I, I, lo- I need to do this. It was, it was expensive for us at the time too, but um, they found a way for it to work. They paid for me and then I started helping out teaching and um, cleaning the mats and cleaning the bathrooms and stuff like that, so they, I got a little bit of a discount, and the rest was Were you good right away? I wasn't natural at grappling, not, okay. a, not a striking at all. I used, Interesting. Yeah, I got my ass whipped. <laughs> yeah, because in your yeah. last fight, I mean, your striking was phenomenal, yeah. and I feel like everyone, as you said, everyone kind of thinks that you're a naturally striker, a striker. Yeah, but if you watch my, if you look at my amateur career right. and all my amateur fights, I was, I'm like, I was a grappler, like a strictly a grappler. Wow. Yeah, so that's pretty funny. And so, so you say that you start to, like, you became like an encyclopedia of MMA knowledge and would write this down, so you would just order everything and would retain it and to yeah. keep yourself busy in class? <laughs> in math You're class, right. yeah. That's that, crazy. I was terrible at it, yeah. That's crazy. So if I threw out things, would you remember or you've forgotten? So we, we worked on a little bit, just to see if, I, if my memory is still fresh. UFC 88. 
88. Uh, give, me, give, me the main, give me the main event. I can tell you how it ended, what round it ended. But 88. that's easy. No, all right, that's easier. But like I said, man, I've been, I've been sparring too much. <laughs> 81. I know 73 was UFC stacked. Yeah. 74 was Gabriel Gonzaga, Randy Couture. 75 was... 75. Rampage Hendo. Rampage Hendo. That was a good one. That yeah. Was I don't know. Yeah, it was on Spike. It was for free. Yeah. Cape Delight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 81, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar Frank versus Mir. Frank Mir. When Frank yeah. Mir called the knee bar. That was a good one, too. That Was that the main event? That was, it was. That was the main event? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you would know better than I Yeah. <laughs> um, no. Tim Sylvia versus okay, Big yes. Nog. There it's we go. From, it's uh, yeah. from, yeah. Yeah. from heavyweight. They called him the guillotine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, favorite fight as a fan. Favorite fight. Favorite fight yeah. of all time? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> that you watched when you were a fan? Yeah. Shogun versus Hendo. That, that pops up right away. 139? Yep. San Jose? Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> my, my, my teammate, Nick Pace, fought on that card too. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Oh, uh, man. That's a great one. Honestly, one of my other... Uh, I'm not even saying this being biased, but Louis Gadno, you remember him? Of course. He, when he fought John Lineker? Yeah, yeah, great that fight. That fight gets no love, but that was, yeah. a, I, as a fan, I, I was amazed. I was, this fight was insane. They were just throwing bombs the whole time, and Louis eventually called him that guillotine, put him to sleep. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was up there too, but uh, Diaz versus Connor, one, 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 and then two. Two, that was yeah. was a great two. Oh, man. I, it, I can't even think I could pick one. You know what was a great one that nobody, yeah. nobody talks about a lot too? Uh, John Copenhaver, War Machine yeah, yeah. versus Jared Rollins. Of course, yeah, that yeah, was tough. insane. Clay yeah. Guida versus um, Roger Huerta, the same Huerta, card. Also tough, yeah. Oh man, Th I can keep going, man. Did you go to any cards as a kid? I went to Keith Jardine versus Rampage. What was that seventy? Keith Jardine versus, versus Rampage. Rampage. That was the main event was, in Ohio. Uh, it was sixty. No, seventies. No, no, no. It was. I was an, I was a senior, so it had to be had to be later. Was it? Yeah. 70, okay, so 78 was validation. No, you know what it was? It was in the 80s. Okay. That's why okay. I'm off here. Okay, I see that. And so 81, 83 was in Montreal. Was it 86? <laughs> I used no. to be like this, man. 96. Yes, it was 96. It was 90, you're right. Yes, you're right. You're right. You threw me no, sorry, off. Sorry, yes, sorry, you threw sorry, me yeah. off. It yep. was right before UFC 97, which was uh, Chuck Liddell and Shogun, yep. Anderson. Yeah. Yep. So that was the first one I went to. And man, the fucking the energy there was insane. I never been to a live event before. Yeah. Not even like a. Why'd you go to one in Ohio? Uh, Naga tournament, a grappling tournament was okay. going to be there, so we were going to go do that anyway. And then my, my parents got for me as a, as a gift just to go to the, uh, wow. to the fights with my, my cousin. We had perfect seats. Nate Diaz, for, oh, Nate Diaz was in the crowd that time too. It was. It was. It was Did you get a picture of them? No, I didn't get a picture. I, I like, <laughs> it, it, when you go to like the retreat and stuff for at fights, you you get pictures with the fighters, right? Like I, now that I've been, now that I've been in the uh, UFC, okay. I haven't tried to. The only person I've got a picture with is Joanna. Okay. Because I'm like, when am I going to see her again? I just That's got right. a picture with my last fight, but I don't want to be like a fanboy and get pictures of everybody. You know what I mean? But you kind of want but, to. You oh, 100% I want to. <laughs> and when, I, went to the, I went to the fan expo, the first one, oh, and the right. second one, and then the third one. All three of those I went to. Vegas, Vegas, Boston. Wow. And I got pictures with, I met almost every fighter you can see. So you of. were like waiting in line with all yeah. the schlubs? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. Yeah, I was a diehard man. And, and who, like, who were some of the ones that you met? John Jones, uh, Tiago Alves. You, you can name them and I guarantee you, I've, I've met almost everybody except for- That's hilarious. Krokop, that's like the one that's on top of my list. Krokop. Yeah, he's a tough met. one. He doesn't you know the funny thing? When he fought, uh, when he fought Brendan Schaub in yeah. Jersey, yeah, yeah. that was my birthday. My okay. two favorite fighters at the time were Shogun. And Krokop. Wow. They both lost yeah. on my birthday. Both got knocked out. Shogun in the main event. Yep. I thought you were going to say your two favorite fighters, Krokop and, uh, and Brendan Schaub. And I was nah. like, oh, you're the one whose favorite fighter is Brendan Schaub? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, Brendan. Jeez. Um, and so that. at that point, like when you're going to these fights, do you already know that you're going to go to the UFC? Like, do you already say- That was always the dream. Okay. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I want to do that. Wow. I want, I want to do that. I, I never had a, a passion for something. Like I used to be on the diving team. I did that in high school. Okay. And um, that's when I started training. My parents were like, you gotta stick with diving because you're good at it. You, you can get a scholarship to college. And I was just like, I just don't like it. Like I, lo I love this. I kind of like diving. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm good at it, but I don't really care about it. But I love this. I never felt any kind of passion like that for, for an activity that actually was like, I need to go to training. I need to go to training. I need to go to training. I, I love this. Did you go to college? Uh, I went there for a semester, and a, half, a year and a half. And what happened? I just stopped going. <laughs> you just weren't interested. Not at all, man. And is that when you were focusing on? I was fighting at that time when I was you in were. college. I had my first amateur fight when I was 18. Okay. So I was in high school actually with my first amateur fight. Now you're a coach at Tiger Show. Or you own it? No, I don't own it now. Okay, you're just a, the yep. head instructor. Yeah, in Newburgh, your... New York. It's, a, it's Bales Gate, New Windsor. Okay. It's like five minutes from Newburgh. As you were coming up, did you have another job or was this always that, your secondary that, job? That was my first job. Then okay. I worked at a couple of retail jobs. I worked at Puma and J. Crew and in, in the Commons, Warburg uh -huh. Commons. Yeah, yeah. I just. Again, like same thing with school, I just stopped going. Right, right, right. <laughs> and, then, and then I got back to Tiger, and I've been there ever since. And so when you so you debuted in the UFC in December, yeah, um, you're three and zero now. Then you fought. You're one of those rare guys that's fought only in New York, yeah, as far as the yeah, UFC is yeah. concerned. Like two years ago, that would yeah, exactly. be impossible. I drove to all my fights, which is pretty crazy. Wow, right? yeah. that is nuts. Yep. Um, 
you got the call for the Albany card on short notice, right? Yeah, two, two and a half weeks, something like that. What was it like when you finally got that call? It's surreal. I almost, almost cried. I was teaching class. Okay. And I saw my phone at the corner of my eye going off. And I was like, I see it's my manager. And I was like, we, we, we've been putting some tweets out. We were trying to get the fight. And I just see him call me. And I'm like, he doesn't really call me too much unless it's some, something either bad news or, or good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that had a big smile on my face. Just didn't answer my phone because I'm teaching the class. And then I see uh, the sensei that works at the school too. He's an- he answers the phone while I'm teaching class. And he's just staring at me like smiling. I'm like, oh, it's about to happen. Oh, I was man. like, I don't want to get too excited, but it's about to happen. And he comes up, then the class ends. He comes up to me. He's like, answer your phone right now. I was like, wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. It gave me goosebumps. Oh, it, uh, yeah. Gave me goosebumps, man. It was, it was a surreal, surreal. So how did you feeling. react? Like, what did you do that night? I trained. You trained? I trained, yeah. Wow, because yep. you didn't have a lot of time. Exactly. And I have, like, I'm, my brother, he trains too. He's uh, 18 years old. He's big so i had him there as soon as as soon as the the kids classes end the adults classes started he came and i was like let's train he's what? like and he, i'm just grappling he's like why, why are we training right now why are you training so hard now i was like fighting two weeks right he's wow like, where i'm like albany he's like no <laughs> way i'm like yep that's ing- and how big were you how you have big? to cut a lot of weight no no because i was supposed to fight in cffc for the the interim featherweight title uh-huh. that fight fell through a week before so that was october so i was pretty much in shape it was november something and i got the call so i was 165. Okay. Know, so it wasn't terrible. Just started hardcore dieting from that point on. For, for like a featherweight title for an organization like CFFC, what, what, what do they offer? Money-wise? Yeah. Uh, for that one, I was, I was making a nice amount of money. More than your debut? No, 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 no. Okay. I, I was going to, for a regional fight, yeah. I was going to get paid really nice for that. Okay. Which I was ecstatic about because it was short. It was, I, I was supposed to fight. Then their other fight like fell through or something like that. And they offered me, say, hey, you want to get bumped up to the interim title fight? And I was like, yeah. But are we gonna, since it's another round extra, are we going to get paid more? And we just negotiated and oh, it worked out perfectly. I was nice like, let's job. do it. Let's nice do it. Job. And it was crazy because I was like, this feels like it's going too good to be true. Like I'm getting my biggest paycheck. It's for a belt. I'm like, this is, this is weird. This is so weird. Two days later, it fell through. I was like, yeah, and, you're kidding me. But, but, you did, but you do get more for your UFC fight. Probably 10 and 10, right? For yeah, your debut. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and now is it going up every yeah, fight? Yeah, every time you win, it goes up. So Okay. Yeah. And then you got fight of the night. Oh, that was in, awesome. In yeah. Albany, yeah. excuse me, in Buffalo. Buffalo. Yep. Um, you were campaigning for it yeah. in, uh, on Long Island. Yeah. How bummed were you when you didn't get it? I was bummed, but then I saw my teammate got it, Lyman Good. He yeah. got it, so I was happy for him. So yeah. it was, it's all right. As long as I win, honestly, I'm always hunting for the bonuses, sure. especially now I have, I have a family. So yeah. I'm in there for the bonus, 100%. Did you feel like the line? I mean, I didn't think that that was the best fight that card. I didn't watch too much of it because oh, we were okay. back in the green room, but I saw, I saw like bits and pieces, bits and pieces, bits and yeah. pieces. I thought it was down to your fight or the main event. I thought the main event was very the Kelvin fight. Kelvin yeah. Weibin. Yeah, that, 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 that was a great fight. The whole card was actually it was a really, really good, yeah, yeah. solid card. It a lot, was. a lot of good fights. Um, so you said afterwards, like you know, you you need this. You live in a seven hundred yeah. square foot um, apartment, apartment yeah. with your your wife and your daughter. Yeah. Um, who's what like seven eight months? She's just turned five months. Turned five months. Wow. Yeah, we, we just got back from Vegas. She's she's been to Vegas. She's been to Buffalo. She's been to yeah. uh, Albany. She's in the stomach. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah. I, I saw on your Twitter you were in Vegas right after the Long Island fight. Yeah, for vacation. Yeah, vacation. Yeah. Of all places, you went to Vegas. In my, the summer? my cousin found a, a a cheap deal. We got a presidential suite. It was like, why not just do it? Wow. Like, Screw it. Let's do How it. How hot was it? It was hot. 110 degrees yeah. at night. It was like 105. Yeah. But it was cool. We had, we had a good time. Honestly, I'm a big food person. Okay. Like, I love food. And Vegas, you bet yeah, a thousand great. times. They yeah, got yeah. great food, Vegas. Right, right, so right. I was excited just to chill by the pool and just get fat. Was that your first time in Vegas? No. Oh, okay. But, uh, oh, of course, because of the, uh, yeah, the, the summit. But, I, but oh. I've been there like eight or nine times. Right, right. I went there when I was 18, 19, 20, 21, Damn. 24, 25, 26. Um, did you go to the Performance Institute? While yeah, you were I did. There? Yeah. What yeah. was that like? Uh, I saw it in, at the, uh, the athlete's sure. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. But Connor was there training, so I just went at the wrong time. Oh, no. But my teammate, uh, Julio Arce, he's fighting on a Tuesday Night Contender Series, so he was actually in Vegas with me. Okay. Like, it just so happened that he was going to Vegas, so I, I was going to go to train with him, so that's why I went to the Institute to train with him, but Connor had the top floor. So what happens? He just blocks it off? Yeah, I guess they were filming for the Showtime oh, show or man. something like that, so I was did like, ah. Get, did you get a glimpse of him? Yeah, I saw him, yeah. Did yeah. you say anything to him? No, I saw him from a distance. Okay. Yeah. Wow. He had his green Lambo parked right in the front. I was like, what a life. What a boss. What right? a life. On, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, your your breakdown of the fight got a lot of attention when, 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 when yeah, I kind of yeah. asked you about it like jokingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but everyone's, you know, I, 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 it, like it, it got more views than any of the other That's scrums. What my and told like that. Me, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, you're not going to go for that. You're not going to go for that fight, right? And you're not that big. Go to it? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way. Will you even order it? Yeah, definitely going to order it. Yeah. Well, I, I actually get back from, I'm going to the beach for a week with my family. So I get back that day. Okay. So as soon as we get back, we're setting like the big screens up. We're getting yeah, ready yeah. For that, of course. So when you put it out there that, you know, the 700 square foot and all that, what
you're a pro athlete and we're here to watch you. And then it's like a little unsettling to hear someone talk about, you know what I mean? Because we're yeah, used yeah, to pro yeah, athletes yeah, yeah, yeah. living the life. Yeah. I actually didn't get any feedback at all from that. No, no. You didn't I get actually any... got more feedback from the dental insurance thing. Like I don't have that, that uh, yeah. I, yeah. I got like 30 dentists that, that, that are willing to help me out. So I'm actually going to get my, my freaking really? tooth fixed on Thursday, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. So, so you said this like right towards the end, they give you, they give you health insurance. Yeah, yeah. So like if something happens in the While fight, training. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 Why doesn't dental fall under that? I, I punch I, in the face. Yeah, I assumed it did, but I guess it doesn't. I guess health, health and dental are too, like, think about it for you. You got to pay for health and you got to pay for dental. Sure. So I guess only one's covered and they assume your So let's see it. There it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can you see that on camera? Here, look at, look at, the, look, at uh, look at that camera right over yeah. there. There it is. Bang. When did that happen? Uh, like a month before the fight. A month? Maybe, maybe a month and a half. Were you so. wearing a mouth guard? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And I, was, and I got hit right in the teeth and I was like, mm, that freaking hurt. I was like, why did that hurt so bad? Punch? Yeah, but a jab. Okay. Yeah, just a power jab. Boom, it's like, the f take my mouthpiece out. I'm like, my tooth is loose. So what the hell? Oh. Just, next day, I ate a sandwich. It came out. It's like, oh, oh man. Yeah. And does it hurt? Fun. Not at all. No, it's good. So what do you, what do you, it, nervous. Do you play with it? No, it, it's just annoying, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so, um, you, did you call the UFC and say, hey, can I, 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 I contacted my manager. I was okay. like, can I get my tooth fixed? And then he, he was like, I actually have some dentists that might be able to do it free. So, like, oh, cool. So just hook me up. I was like, let me actually wait for after the fight because I don't want to get it fixed now, get busted, and then have to go back to this guy sure, again. Sure. So I said, just wait for after the fight. Okay. Yeah. And so once you put that out there, people were just hitting you up on Twitter? <laughs> just saying, I'm willing to do this for you a, for free. A, a couple people like that. And then Tiger Solomon is such a big organization, honestly. I had so many people that I know dentists, I know dentists, I know dentists. I like, wow. And then, and then after, after the Twitter thing, like a the, the couple days ago, even more dentists want to do it. So I was like. So how do you pick one? Uh, I don't know. I got, I got, I just narrowed it down to one. The guy said he's from Ridgewood. So I'm like, that's close, a nice area. So he's probably going to do it. Close yeah. enough. And yeah. when's this going down? Thursday. Do you have to take the whole tooth out or are you just putting a piece? I don't know. I don't know. You're just going yeah, in. I'm just going to wing it. Yeah. Do you feel like you should get dental insurance? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially, I mean, Especially if it happens during a fight yeah. or, or during training. training I mean, if, I, if, I, if I'm slipping on a banana peel, all right, that's on me. But it, it's a dangerous sport. I mean, things like this are going to happen. But sure, I'm not complaining. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, getting, get, I'm getting hooked up, so it's all good. What about Reebok? You got a beef with Reebok? I saw your. No, tweet. I don't have a. No, let me let me get. You yeah, said, "Yo, I, where's my jersey?" There's no beef at all. A lot of people <laughs> like hated on it, but I wasn't starting beef. Okay. I, I re, my parents really just want to buy a jersey. Sure. That's only that's the only problem I had. There's okay, no so beef. Wait, so you I'm put cool out, with Reebok. You put out a tweet. I'm three and zero. Yeah. Yo, Reebok, where's my kit? Where, where can yeah, people buy it? Exactly. Did you ever get a response? Not from Reebok, but... No. <laughs> from a lot of people. <laughs> I, I, I never got so many retweets and favorites yeah. in my life. I was like, holy shit. Like 500 or something? So, I think 489 or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, wow. See, these people want it too. So I wasn't trying to shit on Reebok at all. Actually, the guys that work at Reebok are really cool, really respectful towards uh -huh. me, especially towards my wife. When, when we first went there for my first fight, they were awesome. So nothing against them. I just want to be able to buy, I have my, my fans and friends sure, buy my jerseys. Sure, sure. Because you guys, like when I went to that, I, I was saying this to someone um, who works for the UFC this past weekend, like what I loved most about that Long Island card was it felt like a local card yes. on the biggest stage. Yep. All the t-shirts for you, LaFleur, Over a thousand. Jimmy Rivera, yeah, Weidman had his, but like you got, like there was something about this crop of fighters that you, you all had, a, I mean, I know you're, a, a lot of you were local, but it, it just felt like this local show. It Do you did. know what I mean? No, it felt like a, like I fought obviously in regional shows before. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it felt like that, especially when I, I fought with Jimmy before, I fought with Lyman before. And when we, I'm the second fight of the night and that place was, was going crazy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, it felt like a regional show on a grand scale. Sure. Yeah. But it was, it was an interesting thing because like when I saw the tweet, I, I was like, here's a guy, cause they told us that these shirts would be available. Like when the first deal, yeah, everyone yeah, yeah, had, yeah, yeah. but they're not. Yeah. I mean, some people's are still. Yeah, like Connors. Yeah, 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 true. I mean, no, you can, Rondas. you can, if you go to the Reebok site, you can sit, it, there's a spot where you type a fighter's name in. Sure. So I've been going like every, like, since I've been in the UFC, I check like at least once or twice, like every oh, other man. week. Yeah. This breaks my heart. <laughs> it's all good. This breaks my heart. <laughs> it's messed up. I got this shirt. I'm on the back of this one. So yeah, well, that is a good one. Yeah. Um, that's, we need to change that. How are we going to change that? Talk to someone known from the UFC reached out? Uh, no. You get the shirts when you fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so I have you three. Only of them. Have three. Yeah, but I actually, I have two because we have to donate a piece of our. Oh come on! Well, it's for, it's for charity though. So <laughs> okay, I'm fair cool enough. Exactly. Right. You have to donate an article of clothing that you wore either into the cage or to the cage. Okay. So I have to either give them my gloves, my jacket, my hat, my shirt, or my shorts. But you have to have actually wore it to the cage. So if I if I leave my pants back or my, oh, my jersey back, I can't <laughs> can't give that. Right? We're like ten, so. What'd you yeah. give? I gave my jersey every time. The well, actually, the first time they forgot, so I was like, oh, I'm not gonna say anything. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. se the second time, I had to go to the hospital. 
at, after the fight, so yeah. they didn't they didn't bother me for that one. And then the third fight, they were like, "Oh, we need something." I was like, "Hey, take my jersey." So you, you, yeah. you gave him the jersey. Yeah. Um, when you were fighting for um, CFFC, you know, regional promotion, yeah. what was the sponsorship game like? It's it's hard. It's not. It's, it's, it's really not. So even like so it's, now you. I've still... had Nutribio as a sponsor for since I was in the CFFC, so they've been with me, and then I've had Tiger Fight Gear as a sponsor too. So even. Even though you're on the the bottom tier, right? Because you're only three and zero in the UFC, yeah. so you're making twenty five hundred. Yeah, is yeah. that more than what you would be making for CFFC? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. you're not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. No, okay. No, it, it it's more of a for me specifically. It's a hassle for me to go out there and try to get like sell myself to these people that don't really know me too much. But like, I feel bad for guys like uh, Vitor. Yeah. He's making like stupid. He was making over a million. Sure, sponsors. sure, so, sure, sure. So for them, I understand why they're mad. But for me, it's like this doesn't affect my. Actually, this is actually better for me, so I'm not complaining. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, having a daughter, being a dad, how has that changed you? It's crazy. It's weird. It's very surreal, especially like cause she was born February 27th, and that was the last month of my training for my fight in Buffalo. So it was just a very, very surreal thing. I was like, I'm a dad now, but I, how do I be a dad? I've never been a dad before. I have yeah. to train for this fight. I train twice a day. I get home from training, I hold her for a second, I'm like, I'm so tired, can you just hold her, babe? And then I have to go back to training again. I'm like, oh. so it was a very, that first, that, that month when she was born, I feel a little bit guilty about because I didn't get to spend too much time with her. And she, I feel like she didn't really recognize me too much, so that kind of hurts me a little bit. But uh, after, right after my fight, fight with Charles, uh, that Buffalo fight, I had that about a month off and I just spent every second with her as okay. much time as I could. So I feel like now, like, she, when, when she sees me in the morning, like, she, her smile, smile bright. Oh, the yeah. best, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was saying to my wife too, like I was getting so mad, like I get really irritable when I'm dieting and, and, and training all the time. So Netflix is on TV and it's just taking forever to load. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, yeah. And she just starts laughing, the baby. Starts laughing, I'm like, oh, I can't be mad at That's that. Right. Right? Let, me put my, <laughs> let me relax a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you, you, no matter how tired you are, you, you wake up, she doesn't stand yet, right? No, when so, we hold her, she stands. Yeah, 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 but soon like she'll get up in the, oh, uh, the crib when you come yep. get her and like their little head is, peeking up and this morning i i we're, we're she slept in the bed with us in, in the middle of it oh that's the best yeah so so this morning i'm sleeping and she she wakes up at like seven in the morning and she's just like Blimey. scratching at my face and i'm like oh this is so cute but i'm so tired I'm yeah like, i know like, i'm like waking up in and out and dozing off and she's just like clawing at my face trying to wake me up it's fucking hilarious do, do, you, do you feel like there's more pressure on you now do you feel like you fight a different way you have a different mindset because you are taking care of someone else definitely a different mindset leading up to a fight but when i'm actually in the fight none of that None of that matters. Okay. I don't think about anything besides getting the job done when I'm actually in the fight. So leading up to the fight, yeah, 100%. It's a lot different. I, I'm not supporting myself. I'm supporting my wife, my, sure. my daughter. So leading up is different. But as soon as they say go, I'm not thinking about anything besides getting the job done. But do you feel like there's more pressure on you? Yeah, 100%. Yeah? 1 million percent. Right. Yeah. Um, and so what, what, what about the living situation? I, I mean, you feel comfortable, or yeah. I mean, it's good. It's good for now. We definitely are outgrowing it because you know you have kids. Yeah, yeah. They take over the house, and especially not, it's, exactly, it's not a very big house, so it's pretty much her apartment, her her big playroom. So, I'm um, definitely I'm looking to buy a house sometime soon. Oh, Hopefully, great. after my next fight, I can have enough for for a nice down payment. Are you looking to fight again this year? Possibly. Oh I, wow. I mean, I definitely. I It'd mean, be a busy year for you. Yeah, it'd be crazy. It'd be four fights in a year, but why not? You're on a roll. Yeah, I'll <laughs> stop the momentum now. Who, so, who makes sense? I don't. I don't care, honestly. You don't care. I honestly don't. Were you happy with your last fight? Yes and no. Why? I was happy because uh, I felt like I did good. I, I, my offense was good. My defense, my, my wrestling defense, was really good. But I didn't finish him, and I, I don't, I'll never be happy with the decision. Okay. So my first UFC fight was a decision. Mm -hmm. It was a good performance. This fight was a good, another good performance. But I need. I want. I. I'm not satisfied unless it's finished. Really? I don't care if it's Even the if score 30, 30, 20. I don't care. No. You just want the finish. Yeah, because I feel like I should have finished that fight. If I yeah. got, if I got a ten eight round, that means the fight was close to being finished, and right. kind of bothers me that I didn't finish the fight. Huh. Come, coming into the UFC, I was seven and zero with seven finishes. Yeah, I was seven and zero as amateur with five finishes, so I was on a huge finishing roll. And yeah, I, I don't want to go to. The so finish. do you feel like people haven't seen the best Shane Burgos yet? Oh, no, definitely not the best. No, 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 no. So is there is there an opponent out there that you feel like this guy will bring the best out of me? This is the guy that I want to test myself <laughs> against. No, nah, man. The featherweight division doesn't get enough credit, though, honestly. Yeah, that's, for The division sure. is stacked. Yeah. Like, a lot of people talk about welterweight, lightweight. Those are stacked, too. But the featherweight division is right there. Yeah. The, the top 20, not even the top 15, are, they're all killers. Yeah. So it, it's, a, it's a great division. But uh, I like fights like the, like the last three I've had. Like, guys try to take me out. Like, I'm yeah. trying to take them out. Like, this dude, Pepe, he didn't, he didn't want to beat me by points. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I never think about point fighting either. Like, I never think, let me get this, let me get this takedown so I can win this round, solidify this round. And then, then I'll just win the next two rounds and I'll be good. That's literally, I never think if I'm up on the cards or down on the cards. I'm always just thinking, as soon as that fight, as soon as the bell rings, I got to kill him. Right. It's kill or be killed. Because if, if I don't kill him, he's going to try to kill me. So 
I thought that there was a big discrepancy in your striking and his striking. You were throwing combos. He was just throwing haymakers. Yeah. One. Yeah. One, two, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like hook kicks. Yeah, that, yeah, but it was like th- th- there was such a difference in in your attack. You looked so much better than him on the feet. Yeah. Thank did you, you did you sense you. that as well? Like he's. I, I knew and, that. And also, like, as I said to you afterwards, like I almost could. I, I felt like you could see his punches coming a mile away. Yeah. Like at some point, I, I felt, he, was, yeah. he was telegraphing everything. Yep. I knew he was going to throw that big overhand right, and then he throws a kind of like a flick jab, which I'll take that because I can yeah. slip that all day. Yeah, so yeah, I'll yeah. take that. And the overhand right, kind of like just kept bowing to. Hindsight, I would have did things a little bit different, but I got the job done, so I guess it's good enough. But yeah. next time, I'll have to finish. Sure. Um, I feel like they're going to call you for MSG. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good possibility for w- that. W- would you do that? How do I say no to that? Yeah. You know what I mean, it's one of those things. How do I say no? I wanted a little bit longer of a break because. Like I told you before, like my body was just hurting from like this training camp was was rough. Yeah, I didn't spar for almost a month leading up to the fight. That's right. I but sparred you, two minutes. But you don't want to tell us why? Yeah, injury. <laughs> are, are you still feeling it? Uh, a little bit. Not. It's why not way now? Better. Why not tell us now? You won the fight. Who cares? <laughs> I, I, What's the big deal? Don't want to get into wanna, it. Okay. Yeah. But now, but now, like especially after the fight too. Now I I have even more like not not bad injuries, but like little nag injuries. Like my hands hurt. They always okay. sore after my fights. So I definitely need to give my hands a break. Just to, usually after every fight. Every UFC fight so far has won three rounds, so my hands been like sore after every fight. So right. I just need definitely need a little bit of a break. But if they offer MSG, how do you, as a New Yorker, not even as a New Yorker, as a fighter, how do you say Anyone, no to MSG? Yeah. Exactly, but especially as a New Yorker. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I'll definitely say yes if they offer it to me. But if they offer me December, that'd be a little bit better okay. on my body. Like December, so I see you wouldn't going, be upset. No, nah, get the call would, for MSG. Would, You're not nah. going to campaign for it. We'll see how I'm feeling. Okay. See how I'm feeling in a couple weeks. Y- you watched uh, 214. I saw you were talking yeah, about yeah. it. Did you enjoy it? Of course. That was a great card. It lived up to the hype. That was an awesome card. Who'd you think won? Co- Cowboy or Robbie? Robbie. You thought Robbie won? So won. Okay, so did I. Yeah. Well, the first and the third. First a lot third. of people had Cowboy win the second and, or the first and the second. Yeah, I, you know, and and also, like, it bothered me. I, I wish we got five rounds. Oh, man. That would be the perfect five rounds. I tweeted fight. that, yeah. But it bothers me that people are like, oh, that didn't live up to the hype and stuff. Like, come on. That was on, a great fight. Expect? That was a great fight. Yeah. It I, was I all it. action. I loved it. Especially the first, what, minute when Robbie just charged yeah. him. That was a great fight. I, I thought Cowboy's game plan, I mean, like, you can't fight Robbie in a phone booth, right? That's no. not, you have yeah. to fight him a little longer. Well, if you see, Robbie fought his fight the first round. Yeah. Second round, he fought uh, Cowboy's fight. He was at distance giving Cowboy. You can't give Cowboy that distance because that's right. when he sets up those those head kicks and all yeah. those all those weird angle punches and stuff like that. And then the third round, he went back to that pressure, and that's I think that's what got him that, that third round too. Okay. More importantly, how'd you score the first two rounds of Jones DC? That's funny. We were talking about that too. I had one was close. It was close. It was close. I gave it the DC. You did. I did, but I thought but I thought it was close. Okay. Because I thought he had better pressure and he was going forward. I thought he was a, he he almost yeah. stole it. Yeah. He almost it was, stole it. It was close. Yeah. Like you said Jones won. I'm not going to argue. Like all right, I can see right. that. And, and I think. Two of the three judges, or, or all three judges had him in the first. Yep. And then the second, I definitely had it for DC. Yeah. But I saw two judges had it for Jones. One judge had a 2-0. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, and then the third round, I had DC winning the third yeah. round until the, the kick. I have to say, like, my, my heart broke for him a little oh, bit. Oh, man, it felt so bad. Especially seeing him cry, uh, that, that interview with Rogan after. How was, do you feel about that? A, a fighter getting knocked out, should he not be interviewed? No, I don't think so. Not at all. I don't, yeah. Even Rogan knew, knows he should Yeah, he apologized. I gave him yeah, a lot yeah, of credit yeah, yeah. for that. 100%. He did it on respect, his own. Yeah. I, I would like to hear what he has to say, but on his time. Yeah. He, if he wants to do it, that's completely cool. on him. Yeah. But he but wasn't if, in the right mindset. No, he man, said he no. didn't know what happened. Yeah, it was just, it was, I felt and bad. You see those people, they the memes. Picture, oh, yeah. What is this? Yeah, of course. And, and, and like Bleacher Report puts out, like, is this the new Jordan meme? And it's a picture of him. Yeah. Jordan was crying in celebration. He was getting yeah. inducted into the Hall yeah. of Fame. This guy just got knocked out. Oh, yeah. And it, it was more than, I don't think he was crying from getting knocked out. Yeah. I think he was crying from all the time he invested oh, into this of course. one. It meant the world to him. Exactly. And it wasn't just he lost a fight. He lost a fight to someone who he really did not like. So yeah. I can't, I felt terrible for him. I, I talked to him a little bit yesterday and I, I won't make the conversation all that public, but what, what's killing him is that he was doing so well. Yes. I can't imagine that. Yeah. He was doing so well. Yes, he was. He was talking to him at one yep. point. Yep. You know, he was, he was landing, he, mouthpiece flew out yep. at one point. Right in the beginning of the, front, yeah. of, the, of the first round. And it felt like as the fight was going on, he was doing he better was and better. He was doing better, yeah. Did you see this clip that came out three years ago of John talking oh, man. about? I saw it on Twitter. Damn. Yeah. He, he he called it. Did yes, you see him saying that left was leg talking kick? Yeah. about it. Did you see what John set that up really nice though? When, yeah, he, when he went southpaw, he was throwing the snap front kicks, and then he it looked like it was going to be a front kick. It wasn't a complete question mark kick, but he just came up with it. DC went to block the front kick. That's what called him. Yeah, it was, it was a beautiful kick, honestly. What did you make of John though? You've watched him a lot. Yeah. Do you think he's fully back, or do you think he could get better? Because my take is I don't feel like we've seen the real John Jones yet because OSP fight 
out yeah. for a year and a half. This fight out for a year and a half. I feel like if he comes back and fights in like December, then we'll see. Yeah, I still I felt agree. like he was a little rusty. I agree. And I, I, yeah, ring rust. I, I don't. I'm not a big believer in ring you're rust. Not. I'm not because I had a year, I, had, I had a year layoff and I came back and knocked out in the first round. So okay. I'm not a big believer in ring rust, especially if you're training the right way, which I know he's definitely been. Tra- he's been getting his rounds in. Sure. And if you're getting your rounds in, that's the closest thing to a fight. That's pretty much a fight, especially when you're at the highest level. You need guys that are going to be trying to take you out too. So I know he's he's definitely been in there in the trenches. Sure. So I I don't, I don't think that he was rusty. I just think that everything else gets to you. Not the not the not the actual fighting, but like I haven't made this walk to the octagon in years. I haven't done the the Reebok. I haven't got fitted for sure. my outfit in years. I haven't heard my theme song in years. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah. So that that I think that could get more to you, you than the actual fighting. Because once def, once they say go. There's nothing else on your mind, especially for me, but getting the job done. Right. I'm not thinking about anything else. What about so, those kicks to the knees? How do you feel about the those? side kicks to the knees? Yeah. I don't like them. You don't like them? them? Do you feel like they should be outlawed? Yeah, because think about how anticlimactic it would oh, be if man. you win a fight, especially yeah. like, especially that fight. Imagine if he just blew up DC's leg in the first 30 seconds with one of those. Yeah. It would just be like, that's a bummer. Yeah. I mean, it, it, or rather like a clean knockout or something, sure, but. Sure. It just be, and then DC has to worry about getting back to rehab and everything like that. So I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. It hurts to watch it. It does. You like, see the one with uh, Keith Jardine and Brandon Barra? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It is, I mean, all the Jackson guys do it and I yeah. don't blame them because no, it's not you illegal. Can't. Exactly. Yeah. You can't blame them. But I have heard from a lot of fighters who would not yeah. like, see them yeah. a part of, like to them to be illegal. Has anyone ever tried that on you? Consistently? Like John no, does? No, no, no. No, definitely not consistently. No. So, so if you're, if you're uh, Dana White, Sean Shelby, who do you book John against next? That's a fun one. I, I like the Vulcan fight, but you do yeah, I do like it because okay. he looked like a killer in his he last does. two fights. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. first one was great. So that's a, that's a fun fight. But if I'm a if I'm Dana White or Sean Shelby, I'm not booking that fight. Yeah, because that's not going to make money like the Gustafson fight's going to make. Yeah. So I think the gut and the Gus the, the history is already wrote, man. That that sure. that fight sells itself. That's right my there. favorite fight. That's an awesome fight. I think it's the best fight in UFC history. Okay, I respect that. Yeah. That's, that's a great that's a great pick. I remember watching that. Did did you have Gustafson win? No, I yeah, did. You had Jones winning? I did have okay, Jones winning. Okay, I one, one of the first people I've heard say that on. Really, you yeah. had Gustafson? I had Gustafson. Wow. Three, three to two Gustafson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was close. Yeah, it, it was, was an awesome fight. So who doesn't want to see that again? Right. Run that back. Um, what about this idea of him fighting Brock Lesnar? Does this interest That's, you? It's fun. It's fun. But uh, I'd, rather him, I'd rather see him fight Gustafson first okay. than Brock Lesnar. Yeah. I think he smashes Brock. No, if he no, smashes. No disrespect to Brock. And Brock is a big, big guy, so I think he could maybe last a round or two. But a five-round fight, I don't see him finishing John. I think John's grappling is very underrated. I think he can even submit Brock, right. especially with the, uh, one of the chokes, especially with him going for the takedown, the guillotine chokes, the elbows. I, I think it's a great matchup for John, especially if he bulks up a little bit. Yeah, I think I think he'll win. Do you think John can? We were talking about this earlier with uh, Frank Mir. Do you feel like he can be a successful heavyweight? Yeah, he's at the frame for it. Yeah, he's, even though his legs are so small and everything, he. Can bulk up. Yeah, you can't. It's hard to get your your calves bigger. Yeah, like, well, that's one of those things. Like I have skinny calves too. Like you're you're doomed with that for life. But you can definitely build up the quads and and his arms and he he's got the frame for it. If anybody can go up to heavyweight and be successful, one million percent it could be him because he's big. Yeah, he's got the longest reach, and he's good. Yeah, he's good. He knows how to win very fights. Good. He's very good. Seeing him against uh, DC on Saturday, I mean, it, it did look like they were two separate weight classes, right? It did, and and DC used to be the heavyweight. Right. So if DC was success and DC's undefeated heavyweight. So if DC was successful at heavyweight against good competition, I think Jones could definitely be. Jones, Stipe, who do you pick? That's a good one. That's a toss-up right there, yeah. honestly. What a uh, great fight, though, right? Yeah, if, I'd love if, to see that. If Jones got a little bit acclimated at heavyweight, yeah. I think I would pick him. But if it was Jones just jumping right into that fight, I think I would lean towards Stipe. Okay. But it wouldn't shock me if Jones won. This dude, he wins. Yeah. He's a winner. So. I'm happy you're here because I want to ask you about Tyron Woodley. Is it fair that he's being criticized the way he is? Do you think it's warranted? I, if I'm him, yeah, I don't give a shit what you're saying, man. Sure. I'm, I'm the champ. I'm making, I'm making my sure. money. Sure. So, but I, I but it, your your promoter is crapping on you. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's not that, that, that's definitely not fair. Yeah. So, but I, I feel like for a title fight that has a lot of a uh, hype going into it, it's going to be expected. You're on such a pedestal. If you have not a fight, a friend friendly fight. You're gonna get you're you're gonna get chewed Is that up. Fair though, it's not fair. No, it's not fair okay. at all. But it's gonna happen. It's, it's how do you stop it? Okay, first of all, that card was great, right? It was an awesome card. Four out of the five main yeah. card fights were great. Yeah. What did you expect when like I like that, and, and I know I'm preaching to the choir because you're a fighter and you appreciate all aspects of MMA. Yeah. But He's the, taking defense, right? Yeah, that that's fascinating. Yeah, yeah. He was Damian very, Mai was taking the guys down at ease. He was winning fights without landing a punch, yeah. and he was stuffing him. Yeah, twenty four. Yeah, twenty four. Yeah. 
That's so, insane. You, got, you definitely got to give him his respect for that. I think what people were mad about was that he wasn't striking on. Trying. On, on well, then the, we find out that he had an injured break. shoulder Did he? early on. I mean, yeah, he like, oh. and he may need surgery. Oh wow! So it's like I don't know. It, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way. Again, like you guys walk into a cage, they close yeah. the door. There yeah. needs to be some respect there. Oh, 100%. Especially I, I at the that. highest level. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? He's not fight, at that point, he's fighting for some serious money, too. Serious so money. If uh, he loses that fight, he's going from making this amount, he's going a mass, significantly I, I Actually, that, that's a great point because yeah. there's such a fall from grace from the top to the middle. Especially the, yeah, and the Reebok pay. Like, if you look at Avenger, Avenger was ma- just made, what, 35000 from Reebok? Yep. But now her next fight, she's going to make 2500 It's crazy, right? So, yeah. Yeah, so, and, and it just... I get why people were frustrated. I think the last round and a half was a little slow, but other than that, there is something there there's something for everyone on that card, yeah, right? You had the Lawler Cerrone yep. You had you had DC Jones. There has to be an appreciation at this point 24 years into the UFC for what he was doing. Yeah. I can definitely appreciate it, but I could see So you were, were were you bored by it? It wasn't my favorite fight. Of course. I probably wouldn't watch it. I'm not saying it was the best fight yeah, of all no, time. No, no, yeah. no, but um I can, I can respect the takedown defense. That takes that, that's skill right there. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a skill. Um, but I can definitely see the casual fan and the person that just watches here and there being like, oh, this fight sucks or something like that. Because they don't, first of all, if you don't train, you're not going to understand how hard that is to stuff a world-class right. guy that many times. You're not going to understand that. So I, I, it's at both sides to it, I guess. The hardcore fans, they'll, they'll respect it, they'll appreciate it, but the casual fan won't ever. So here's the thing that isn't being brought up as much. Does Maya deserve more of the blame? That he didn't yeah. adapt his game plan. That, that's what everybody was saying, yeah. He kept going for the single, yeah, 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 essentially, yeah. Yeah. and it wasn't working. And he wasn't, throw any punches off of it. No. Because at that point, you, you, I mean, think about it, but you're owing 10. Throw some punches. You're owing 15. Throw Set some it punches. Throw, Set throw, it up. Throw, honestly, fake a shot. Throw a kick. Right. You know what I mean? Th- do something. Get him to react. Get him to think you're going for a takedown and then set up a punch. He's, other, he's, a, he's not the best striker in the world and he, what he's been doing has been working for him. So I get why he stuck to what works for him. But, I mean, it's five rounds. By, yeah. by the fourth, fifth round, you got to just stop going. Especially when you're tired. You know how hard it is to take somebody down when you're tired? Especially, it's way more tiring to, to go for a takedown and miss it than it is to defend a takedown. Right. So I think he should have just let, abandoned that idea by the third or fourth round and just let, just let it go. Like when he did with Anderson, when he fought Anderson, yeah. he just started swinging at one point. <laughs> and he's come a long way since yeah. then as yeah. a striker. I, I, I feel bad for guys who fight their hearts out, who are fighting in five-round fights, and then they have to be attacked by everyone. You know, I get it, yeah. Online yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and your promoter yeah. and, and the media. I feel like they, they've, they've earned the right, guys like Woodley, to... You completely know. agree, but we're on a pedestal. Yeah. We're, we're, we're in the spotlight. We're in the spot. We're going to get crit- – there's nothing – we're always going to get criticized. Yeah. There's always going to be trolls, and there's always going to be haters, and there's always going to be people that are giving you the praise or just dissing you. It's, it, it's impossible to stop that. Even in other sports, too. Maybe yeah, not. No, I know. Yeah. I know. It's just I, – I, I wish. I completely agree with you. Yeah. That would be awesome if we don't have to worry about any, any backlash, but especially at that level because, like I said – you're not fighting for peanuts. You're That's fighting right. for some serious money. So, uh, do you enjoy watching Cyborg fight? Who doesn't? Yeah, Who doesn't. I don't know. Maybe some people don't. I, but I, I do. I enjoy it. But it's like, ugh, ugh. yeah. That was the like, thing, like, Avenger, I feel like that was the story that she lasted that long. Yeah. Like, her toughness was yeah. the story, yep. you know? Yep. Um, and she's not a, a true 145-er, but I, at this point, like, if, if I'm Holly Holm, I'll take that fight. Oh, yeah. Uh, or Cyborg even, fight. I, I like that fight. I like the Durand me fight, and I like the, the Megan that one's. Fight. I don't know if that one's happening anytime soon. <laughs> Definitely but. not, but but I like that matchup. Especially, I think Cyborg, got, she looked great, but I think she looked more beatable in that fight than her yeah. first two UFC fights. Not that she looked beatable, but she looked more beat, like uh, less unbeatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. I agree, yeah. I agree. That's what I'm saying. If I'm Holly Holm at this point, yeah. I'll take and that. She's a good striker. She knows right. to keep the range, keep the distance. She moves very well. That's right. So uh, that, 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 that fight makes a lot of sense. She has a name already. Of course. Megan Anderson doesn't have big of a name. She's, no. she's a true 45er, but she doesn't really have the name like, like I'd Holly I'd like does. to see Anderson get a fight in under yeah. her belt at this yep, point. Exactly. And it's tough to go into the UFC against Cyborg. It is. Your first fight. Exactly. So I completely agree with that. That would be, that's what they should do. They should do that as the main event, Holly and, and Cyborg, Megan Anderson versus. Anybody for the, for the number one contender spot. Right. Um, if there is another person out there, a fourth fighter. <laughs> I feel like you were watching the Jason Knight, Ricardo Lamas fight closely. That's your division. I was watching all of uh, Everything. Any, any time. Any, I was Are watching you watching from the closely. beginning? Yeah, I watched the, pre, the fight pass. Fight pass, everything. Yeah, you yeah, just sit down. Yeah. Are you alone? No, my wife was with me. We were at my yeah. house, and then we went to my parents' house for the main card. Oh, wow. Uh, That's pretty, fun. Your yeah. parents like it as well? I have huge UFC parties every time. There's a UFC, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll send you a picture next time. Yeah. I'm not even joking. How like, many we, people are there? Uh... 
between 20 and 30. Wow. Yeah, at least, yeah. So your, your mom and dad are watching? Yeah, they're, they're a huge, huge fan. Mom wow. cooks a big spread, especially after a fight. I'm like, mom, what are you making? I text her, like, what, what are we having for dinner tonight? So she, she gets the food spread ready. Wow. It's good. It's Every pay-per-view? Either every paper you at, at my parents' house or at my cousin's house. Now, what about like FS1 cards? Sometimes I'll have a couple people at my house or I'll go to my cousin's house. Not as big, but pay-per-views, we go, sure. we go hard. And are you watching every card? Yes. Everything? Yeah. Yes, yes. Bellator too? Yeah. Uh, sometimes. Okay. Not as much. If, if the, are you only saying that because you're a UFC fighter? <laughs> no, okay, I, I, okay. I, I enjoy Bellator. I got my, my boy Brad Desir. He just fought in MSG. All right, fair yeah, enough. So I, went, yeah, I was in that, at that, at that card. You, you cornered him? No, 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 I didn't corner. Just I was watched, just watching the fight. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, so you go to your parents' house and everyone's watching you guys betting and stuff? Well, we just started that. That's funny. Okay. We just started making like a big chart. You got to pick the winner. You got to pick how he wins and what round he wins. Wow. Just throw 10 bucks in it. It makes it fun. How'd you do? The last one I won. Uh, 213 I won. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's just it. like the most amount right. Yeah, the, mo the, the winner right and then yeah. it comes down to the finish and the round. Okay. Yeah. And you didn't win this time? No, I, we didn't bet this time. Oh, why not? It was just too late. Oh, all right. Yeah. Would you have won, you think? Did you pick? Were I you picked four out of the five. So Manawa, I got wrong. I picked Manawa. That was yeah, crazy. Yeah. I still can't believe that yeah, guy. Yeah, Came was, out of nowhere. That dude hits hard. He does hit hard, I, but... I, hey, I, I know. When he threw down Manawa? Yeah. It like he got knocked out just from the... His head his bounced head off bounced. the ground. Like, oh. Crazy. Good thing that second one didn't hit. What a he sport. hit him with that first one, then the second one was coming. I was like, oh, just stop it, just stop yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Who's your favorite fighter right now Like that you have to watch when he's coming up? I love Nate. I'm a huge Nate. You're a big Nate fan. Huge Nate. You were you were going for him against Connor. Yeah, I'm going against going with Nate against everybody. When Nate fought Cowboy, that was hard for me because I'm a big big Cowboy fan too. So that was that one was hard. But I'm a big Nate fan. Do you think Nate won the second fight? I do against Connor. You do? Yeah, really. I do. Yeah. Do you? No, I had it for Connor. I think it was three to two. It's definitely three to two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had three to two for Nate. I think it came down. Did it come down the fifth round for you? I think it did. But that takedown didn't didn't solidify for you. It's been a while since I watched That's it. That's the only takedown in the whole fight. Yeah. I, but sometimes uh, the takedown, I mean, if you do nothing with it, it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, but it was the last 30 seconds. Yeah. Took him down, he controlled him a little do bit. Do you want to see a third fight? Absolutely. You do? Who doesn't want to see? The first one was awesome. Yeah. The second one was a, a war. Who doesn't want to see a third fight? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I, I feel like we may see it sooner rather than later. Like, if everything goes okay as far as health is concerned. Yeah. Like, you don't, you, you obviously don't think that Connor's going to win. Um, you've made that I mean, clear. Yeah, but he's got. Don't get me wrong. I'm not oh, just trying to. You what? see him training, and now you change your mind. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. I'm just saying, like, I, like it's a fight, so sure. it, it, I'm not going to be like. He has a a percentage of a chance. Sure. I don't. I don't think he's a. It's a big percentage, but he's definitely got a chance. Right. I just don't think it's very big. So sure. I, I, if, I'm, if I'm a betting man, I'm betting on on Floyd. Are you surprised that the odds are three to one right yeah. now? Insane. I think the press conference got so many people buying into him. Yeah, so. it's crazy. It actually sucks because now you don't want to bet on him anymore because it's not even worth it. Yeah, when he was a ten to one underdog. Throw some money on him. Why not? Yeah, throw hundred well, bucks. Well, maybe him. then you go, you 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 bet on Floyd, right? Yeah. You put yeah. more money on. Oh yeah, him, I guess yeah. If yeah, especially if you think he's definitely winning. You don't think he could stop him, can you? Do you? It's a different cut. boxing and MMA are very different. Yeah. Um, he's training the right way, so he, I heard Paulie Mal Paulie Maldonado yeah. gave him a lot of props. I'm so. talking about Floyd stopping Connor. Yes, I'm oh, saying so. Oh, okay, so, okay. Floyd, so Paulie gave Connor a lot of props. So yeah. Paulie is a respected boxer. Sure. So I think he can stop him just because it's not it's not an MMA fight. It's a boxing match. Connor, his body acclimated to that kind of difference. Um, right. We don't know, so I guess we'll see. But I think he can. I think he. I think he can. Wow, it's the best ever. Yeah, the best. It, it, it would be stupid for me to to, to doubt sure, him. Sure, sure. Especially, although he has been out. I agree. He's Two been out, years. but he's still the best ever. Sure. You know what I mean, he, he's the hardest fighter to hit. He doesn't get tired. He, he's very methodical in the way he throws and the way he thinks about what he's gonna do. He sets traps beautifully. He lets you throw at him to make you miss it. So. I, I gotta pick him. I, I don't know how you can't. GSP Bisping? I don't like that fight. You don't like it? I don't like that wow. fight. Wow. I know you like that fight a lot. I mean, you get a lot of heat from the other guys. Listen, the only reason I like the fight is because it was promised. Okay. I, I, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I feel like he just completely jumped the line in a weight class he's not even in. He is one of the best. Ever. He is, 100%. Yeah. That's why. Give him Woodley. Give him yeah. a Walter title fight. Especially when you have a clear cut number one contender like Romero at the time. Sure. So I feel like Romero got shit, the shit end of the stick on yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like now, I want to see Romero versus Bisping more I than know, before. I know. So you follow up on all this stuff. Yeah, like, I watch yeah, on Twitter all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all of it. You ripped the flag through. Yeah, yeah. I, saw, I saw what you said about you, it. Yeah. What would you think? Cross the line? I think so. I, I would never do that. Yeah. To anybody's flag. But then what about Romero's response when he's like stepping on his flag? Uh, yeah, that wasn't the best response ever, but I get it's even. So now, yeah. it's, so now it's all right, Bisping, you're cool. You're two cool. Wrongs don't make a right. I do exactly. want to see that fight. I love the heat between those two yeah. guys. Yeah, and I wish. Uh, Whitaker's. So you, so you want to see G GSP Woodley and then Bisping? I, I'd rather see GSP Woodley. Wow.
I think Bisping wins. You do? Yeah. Wow. Just he's been up for so long. Yeah. Bisping's so much bigger than him. Bisping's takedown defense doesn't get a lot of respect, but he's got really good takedown defense. Mm -hmm. So I got to pick Bisping on that one. Interesting. Yeah, especially since he's more active, but he hasn't fought in a year almost now. Right. So if anybody can get it done, GSP knows how to win rounds. He knows how to win fights. So That's right. I could, I could see GSP winning, but I would lean to 64. You don't believe Bisping. in ring rust, you said. I don't, but so. five years is a long yeah. time. Especially, I said four, four. Four years? Yeah. So I, I don't believe that changes much. It, what was he doing in that four years? If I he mean, was he wasn't sitting if, on the couch. No, okay, but, but what was he doing? Was he getting sparring rounds in weekly? No, if no. He, if he was, then okay, then he should be even better now. Yeah. Especially as his body had, had that nice long break. So right. he, could, he could come back better. But I think Bisping is just so much bigger than him. He used yeah. to fight at 205. Right. I don't see how... how what about in your division? Holloway, Edgar, that's... Oh, I love that fight. Yeah, who uh, wins? I'm a big Frankie Edgar fan, but I'm also a big Max Holloway fan, especially <laughs> as of lately. Yeah, yeah. Max Holloway has looked amazing. Right. Frankie just coming off that big win. Uh, I think if Holloway can stop takedown, he can win. But if Frankie can take him down, I think Frankie can win. Okay. So that, that, that's a 50-50 fight. 50-50. You're 50, not leaning I, towards anyone. I'm gonna, I would lean towards Frankie just because he's... It's hard to even say because he can't even say he's a veteran because Holloway's young, but Holloway's had more fights yeah. than anybody else in the weight class. So it's crazy. Yeah, it's that's, a, that's I just want to see the fight. <laughs> How long before we're talking about you in that discussion, in your opinion? Hopefully a year from now. I you mean, think a year from now? Hopefully this time next year we're talking about you in the title picture. Hopefully. That's How many more fights do you think you need? Between uh, if I if I fight in December or November, that's four and zero right there. So. Uh -huh. Maybe six total. Do you feel total? like you need to get people behind you more? Do you feel like you need to be a little more? I, I think. I think if my, I'm kind of bummed that I was a prelim on the, on the fight pass. No disrespect to fight pass. I get why they stacked that fight pass yeah, card. Yeah. They stacked it because they want more people to get fight pass, yeah, and yeah. I guarantee you, more people got it. But I want my fight on television because yeah. I got a lot of love from that fight, and I was it wasn't even on TV. So I imagine yeah. if I was on TV, it would have got so much. And it was more. Big Fox. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I was, I, and I was telling everybody before that I was gonna be on Fox because if you looked at the card before, it looked like I was gonna be on Fox. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh man. That's, That's a, bummer. a bummer. Yeah, exactly. Next one you want to be on TV. Yeah, 100%. I, I don't, yeah. Fight Pass is awesome. I have Fight Pass. I use sure, Fight Pass sure, all the sure. time, but yeah. I want to be on TV. I want yeah, more eyeballs course. on my fights. Of course, of so, course. Yeah. So this time next year, two, three fights, we're talking about you in the division, in yeah, the title picture. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. But you won't say that you want this guy next or that guy. You I don't want care. More. I really don't care, yeah. I just but keep, you, but you, I you're a fan like, of the sport, right? Yeah. You know that there is a formula, right? You call a guy out. You yeah. You sometimes get that guy yeah. more often than not, especially if you're aggressive. I really don't care. Like I don't care. You can give me the number one guy. You can give me the number thirty guy. It doesn't matter as long as I keep winning. Sure. <laughs> as long as I keep making money, I don't really. I really Do you have don't. a premonition as to who they might book you against? There's there's so many good guys nowadays, and yeah. I feel like there's so many featherweight fights that have been happening in the last couple of days. So I I really I couldn't even give you a name. Right. I couldn't. Three fights in, are you comfortable? Like the the, the you said it was surreal to get in the UFC. It was surreal to get that call. Yeah. Has it rubbed off? Like now, no, it's still it's still very weird. It's still very it's, weird. It's funny. Me and my friends are talking about it. It was like well, this is so weird. We're in Long Island right now for a UFC fight that you're fighting in. Yeah, like, yeah. This is pretty weird. Wow. Like, I feel comfortable when I'm in there though, because sure, it feels like I'm supposed to be there. It really does feel like I'm. I really feel like that's like destiny right there. Like I I belong there. But it's just so weird when I'm sitting back thinking about it, and then I'm, I put my fight on the TV and I hear Dominic Cruz talking about me, Joe Rogan, John yeah, Anakin. This is so weird. The weirdest part, honestly, is right when I'm before I'm about to walk to the cage and they're like, Hurricane Shane Burgos is a, and they start, the Anik has a little yeah, highlight yeah, video. Yeah. I'm like, this is weird. That they're talking about. Yeah, you. I don't even watch it. I listen to it, but I just start like shadow boxing, keep myself warm. Yeah, I can't yeah. even watch it. You get game. nervous? I don't get nervous, really. My last fight, I was a little more nervous than usual, though. This past one? Yeah. Why? I think it, I think it was a mixture of, being a dad and really understanding that I'm a dad. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, two other teammates were on the card. Yeah. I'm starting it off. Yeah. I don't want to be, the, I don't want to start it off bad. Yeah. yeah you know I mean, yeah. so that, I think that, that, but it didn't bother me in the fight. It just right. got to me a little bit before the fight. It's a good night for you guys. It was awesome, night. Yeah. 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 It was yeah. a very yeah. good night. Two, two wins and yeah. then the fight of the night for, for Lyman. So not bad. Yeah. Not bad. And not he, he'd been out for quite yeah, some he's time been out as for well. Two years. So. Right. He'll come back um, even stronger, though. That dude's a, a savage. He is. He's such a beast. Yeah. It's good to, it's good to see him back. Yeah. Well, I wish you the best. Awesome, man. Good to have you here. Oh, this, this is a dream come true. Yeah, yeah. It so no, much. no, no. I, I know that you support the shows. Yeah. And, uh, you've been watching for a long time. And then after, you know, we we, we had a chat, uh, UFC 91. UFC 91. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting oh, these ones I, here. I, I, 89 was, was Rashad versus Chuck. 88. 88 was Rashad versus Chuck. What was 89? 80, so 89... All right, I put you on the spot. All right, there we wait, go. Wait, wait. I'm so bad now. <laughs> 89 was um, was Lieben 
again in, in, in Bisping. Uh, Lieben Lieben against Bisping. Bisping. And, and it was the following a, week t- was t- yeah on Spike, and then the following week was uh, Silva Cote in Chicago. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, do you remember that? Look, I'm getting That's a little right. older. I need some time. That's what I'm saying. I, I, but see, but you don't never get punch, stump me. You don't get punched That's in the true. face for a living, though. So there's a difference 91. there. Brock against Couture. Ah, uh, I do remember that. I remember the poster and everything yeah, in the red background. That's true. I the post. See, I, I, I got a little rusty, I'm not going to lie, but I got it there. I, could t- I promise you, if you tell me a fight, I can name the, the, the way it ended, what round it ended, stuff like that. Sure. That stuff just left me, the numbers. I know you're really good at that. Actually, I'm yeah. crazy impressed. That's really the only good thing. And then you can tell me where, where the fight was. That's even crazier. That's the easiest you think part. That, you didn't see, oh, because you've gone to it, so. Well, yeah, no. I, I didn't go to 91. You didn't? I, just, I can't tell you where 91 was. I can tell you how it ended and, I, and stuff like that, but I yeah. Nope. Vegas. That was in Vegas? Yeah. All right, Brock. Yeah, one, Brock. Brock, yeah. Uh, okay, one more. <laughs> what, UFC 100? Well, that's easy. <laughs> 101. Also easy. 101. That was relatively easy. I remember it was around BJ versus Kenny Florian. It was, that wasn't, that wasn't, that was it? It was, it was on the card, but it wasn't. That the, was the co-main event. It was in Philly. Yeah. BJ versus Kenny Florian. Was it? Wait. It was BJ versus. Oh, Kenny okay. Star. There we go. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Anderson versus Forrest Griffin. Yes, that was the, and the, yes. the backwards jab. Yeah, right. that was the. That, that was incredible. Was a, that was. One hundred two. You know one hundred two. <laughs> I don't remember. Tour Big Nog. Okay, I remember it now. Remember yeah, that? I watched yeah. that in Dave and Buster's. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. I could, see, I could tell right. you something that. I could go on for days. Yeah, I could do it too. Honestly, I appreciate it, my man. No problem. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Bye. There he is, Hurricane Shane Burgos, one of the rising stars in the UFC's featherweight division. They're gonna escort you out here. How about that? Thank you for coming, awesome. Shane. Thank you, guys. All the best to you, and Thank we'll talk you, to you very soon. Nice 3-0 man. in the UFC, moving up the ranks, doing his thing. Appreciate him stopping by very much. Great stuff from Hurricane Shane.